Hi, I'm Don from Don Drones On. Don't worry, I did not fly at the Parliament buildings in Ottawa. That would be extremely illegal and I probably wouldn't be standing here today if I had done so. But how many times have you heard people say, well, the DJI app allowed me to fly here, so it must be safe and it must be legal. They've got geofencing. Well, does it really stop you in all the right spots, at least in Canada? Let's check it out. So I'm standing at the entrance to the Ottawa CanMet facility, a secret underground laboratory run by the military. Don't say that. Oh. Yeah, sorry, I'm not supposed to say that. I'll edit this out later. Uh, let me start again. So I'm standing at the entrance to the Ottawa CanMet facility, operated by Natural Resources Canada. Uh, this facility does research into mining and combustion and energy and explosives like dynamite and fireworks and things like that. And it's probably because of the dynamite testing and probably because it's a secret lab, that uh, Transport Canada has declared this area, there's a radius, I think it's a kilometre radius, that is um, a Class F restricted zone. Exactly the same classification as Parliament Hill. So let's, let's go inside the radius of this restricted zone and see what happens on the Drone Pilot Canada app and on the DJI Go4 app with its FlySafe map. So I'm inside that restricted zone now, and let's see first of all what Drone Pilot Canada says. So it identifies the fact that I'm in a restricted zone. The button there, the new flight button is showing red, and when I touch it, it tells me that I'm in CYR 508. I'll put a screenshot up there. And I'm about to fly in an area with one or more high-risk aviation zones, and making sure that I know that I have to be authorized to fly here. So let's check out what the DJI Go4 app shows me and represents what's on the FlySafe map. So it's connecting to my drone. By the way, because it's in a restricted flight area, if anyone was to stop, in fact, there's, there's a police station maybe uh, 400 meters from here. Um, I've actually taken one of my propellers off of the drone so that there's no question I'm not flying. So the DJI GO4 um, system does not in fact show that I'm in a restricted area. It does show that I'm in an airport zone, I'll, again I'll show you the uh, screenshots in a moment, but <laughs> I'm not actually in an airport zone. Uh, I'm at the far end of a very small airport that is many kilometers away, I'll give you a measurement. Um, which is uh, not a valid restriction for this particular zone. But it, the key thing is, is it's not telling me that I'm in that CYR Class F restricted zone. So what does it say on the DJI FlySafe map itself? The little blurb at the top says all sorts of stuff. And then it says the geo system is advisory only. Each user is responsible for checking official sources and determining what laws or regulations might apply to his or her flight. In some instances, DJI has selected widely recommended general parameters without making any determination of whether this guidance matches regulations that may apply specifically to you. And there's the problem. Unfortunately, in Canada at least, DJI has done a poor job in matching the FlySafe map to Transport Canada regulations. And by poor job, I mean there's no connection whatsoever other than, well, I guess there's airports. Let's have a specific look around the Ottawa area. So let's start by understanding the correct representation of the airspace around the Ottawa area. I've got Drone Pilot Canada on the left and the NRC drone site selection tool on the right. And I've tried to align the maps as best I can, and it's not perfect, but it's pretty darn close. So the major circles are the Ottawa airport and the surrounding Class C control zone. There's also two heliports and two restricted zones, Parliament Hill and, the, and Rideau Hall. Also, there's a prison in Gatineau showing. Over on the west, you can see the Class F restricted zone around CanMet that I just showed you, and a gunnery range. Both of these tools are accurate representations 
of Transport Canada's regulations. Now, let's bring in the DJI FlySafe map. It's totally different. The control zone is missing around the Ottawa airport. The heliports are completely missing. And all of the Class F restricted zones are missing from the map. And then there's some extra restrictions over and above the Transport Canada regulations. The bottom line is that you cannot rely upon the fly safe maps and geofencing that's built into the DJI apps, the Go4, the Go, and the Fly apps. They are not reliable in terms of confirming that your airspace is safe or legal for flying in Canada. But you as a drone pilot are 100% responsible for ensuring you are flying in a safe location. So how can you do that? You can certainly look at official VFR uh, charts. You can look at um, VFR charts online in, in tools like ForeFlight, or you can take the much simpler approach built for drone pilots and use either the NRC drone site selection tool to determine whether the airspace is, is safe and legal or the Drone Pilot Canada app. Thanks for watching. Give me a big thumbs up if you found this video helpful and feel free to subscribe to my channel and hit that bell for notifications of my latest videos. Thanks again.